Basant asked me to drink saffron milk. But how did I forget that even Sugna is pregnant? Even she needs proper food and utmost care. Everybody is upset with her. Sumitra wants to but can't take care of her daughter. I will go and give this milk to Sugna. Yes, ma'am. I just heard some noise. Did somebody come in? No, ma'am. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anyone either. But there was some noise. Nobody came in, right? I was closing the outside door. Okay, all right then. You go and listen. Just check properly. Maybe some cat must have entered the house. Yes, ma'am.
Sugna isn't here. Where is she at this hour? I knew you would come here for sure. Even I knew it. That if I didn't come here, you would have told everybody about me. You are taking undue advantage of my helplessness. I was a fool. That I told you everything, and even requested you not to tell it to anyone. You dare not think that. I felt like meeting you, and that's why I agreed to you and came here. I have come here because I don't want my family to face any embarrassment further because of my stupidity. They are already unhappy because of me. Not, not anymore. Now I won't let you do as you will. I won't even give you a chance to humiliate my family. Got it? You will keep speaking. Listen. Before anyone knows you're here with me at this hour. Listen to me. This. What was the need to write this letter? And to come to my house so late at night? You would have been in trouble if you were caught. Think before you take a step. You just threw the letter. What if someone else would have got this letter? Why did you do this? Even if you wouldn't have written, I wouldn't have said anything to the villagers. You don't trust me? You think I would tell the entire village about this? And disrespect your family's prestige? Is that what you think? Why are you staring? Can you understand or no? I don't understand. What are you? After knowing the biggest secret of my life, you came to my house. You met everybody. As if nothing happened. And you're talking... Talking to me in such a way... That you don't know the truth. What truth are you talking about? That you are pregnant? How will this affect our friendship and why? I've always liked you and I still do. Why will I hate you after knowing the truth? You are still the same to me and will always be. After knowing the truth, why will I hate you or be against you? Listen. It's up to you to trust me. And I'd like to mention your truth doesn't make a difference to me. I can't stop liking you even after knowing the truth, Sugna.
go back to your room. It's not right for you to stay here for so long. Go. Go back to your room, Sugna. Uh, uh, I said go back to your room. Aren't you ashamed of what are you doing? This family loves you a lot. They trust you a lot. And you? You are taking advantage of our trust? Why? What's the reason behind this betrayal? Due to Aunt's efforts, the years long enmity between two families is finally over. You want to start it again? Please go away. If you have any humanity left in you, don't enter our house again. I will be forced to inform everyone about you. Aunt Gehna, wait. Please trust me. I'm not betraying Sugna. I really like her. I wouldn't wish bad for her. After what I have seen, you still expect me to trust you? No one stops you from coming to our house. Then why would you want to meet her? alone at this hour. You should be upset. You're right. There is a reason for calling her here at this hour. I equally respect her as much as you do. I don't want her to repeat the mistake of coming to my house. Like last night. That's it. And nothing else. And about liking Sugna? I don't feel ashamed about that. I know what I feel and think about her. I really like Sugna. I can't see her so helpless and so angry with herself and her life. I want to see her happy always. 
I want to give her all the happiness. I want to marry her. I know she's pregnant with Pratap's child. I know everything. But tell me, it's not love if I go away from her after knowing about her past. I'm not interested in her past. Nothing. I'm interested in her present and her future. That I want to spend with her. No matter what, you shouldn't have called Sugna here like this. If mother or someone else would have seen, Sugna would have been in deep trouble. Please have mercy on her and go away. And henceforth, never repeat this mistake again. But Gehna. I'll talk to you later. Please go away from here now. It's the duty of modern society to inculcate the spirit of living again in a widow's life.